Okay, here is the Barvember 2019 question for Friday the 8th of November. Holly gets some money for her birthday. She buys a pair of jeans, some shoes and a new coat. She spends 20% of her money on some jeans. The coat costs her £21 more than the shoes. And we're given the shoes amount here. The shoes cost £32. She is left with three-eighths of the money that she started with. And we are asked how much did the jeans cost? Now, um, this actually looks like a fairly simple model to me because we have a whole amount and we're given... Um, values for different parts and we're being asked to, to work out an unknown. So um, I think we're just going to be drawing, you know, parts of a single bar. Um, we do have some um, percentages and fractions and sometimes when you see that, you might, um, that might inform you as to the size of your bar or how many parts you might divide it into so for example if the only thing that, that fraction that was mentioned was eight I might then choose to divide my bar into eight equal size pieces however I we've also got 20 percent which of course is um, we're, we're talking there two tenths all right so um, this is going to be different to this so I'm just going to draw parts of my bar and the size of each part um, does not mean anything it's just simply you know um, to, to give it a space on the page as it were right okay I'm going to stop babbling here um, right let's do the first part and this is going to be the jeans okay so we've got jeans and what was this 20% okay and I've already mentioned that that's two tenths okay um, the coat costs 21 pounds more than the shoes but we are given the shoes at 32 so the coat costs 53 okay so let's draw something else for the coat and that's 53 and then let's do the shoes okay and we've got 32 okay and then what have we got left we've got three eighths left okay again this is just the fact that there's three squares here doesn't mean anything so this is what's left and this is three eighths okay right so what have we got going on okay well we want we we, we want to find out what the the monetary value of the genes is so we need to work things out we need to be able to add things together we have two tenths here and we have three eighths here so we um, could do with changing to a common denominator and I think the easiest one to use is going to be fortieths so let's um, change this to fortieths okay so five eighths are 40, so three fives are 15. Okay, so that's 15 fortieths. And let's have a look here. Okay, so four tens are 40, so two times four is eight. So the 20% is eight fortieths. Okay, so these are, we've got a common denominator now. So how does this help us? Okay, well, eight, plus um, 15 okay if we add those together that gives us those two together and I could actually redraw this but those two together that would be 23 fortieths wouldn't it okay which means that this bit here where we have some known values okay this bit must be 17 fortieths and we also know that this is um, 53 add 32, which is going to give us 85. OK, so this part here, we now we've got some information that we can work with and we can see that's what the bar modeling is doing for us. It doesn't do the calculation for us, but it just makes it clearer 
um, what calculations we need to do. So I now know I, I need to figure out um, what the value of 1 40th is. I know that this is 17 40ths, so I need to divide um, 85 by 17. Okay, I'm actually going to just think, um, make a reasonable guess. If I think about um, 15, um, I'm thinking 5 times 15 would get us um, there or thereabouts. So I'm thinking that this is probably going to be a 5. So let's just check that. So we've got 17 times 5. Okay. Actually, I don't know why I did it like that. Okay. Okay, so 35. Um, right, yes, so we've checked. So 17 times 5 is 85. So we now know that 1 40th equals 5. Okay, so um, then that means that we can work this out. If we go back to here, if 1 40th is 5, then 8 fortieths. So we want to know what 8 fortieths is. Okay, um, it must be 5 eighths, okay, which is 40. So we know that the jeans costs, they cost 40 pounds. Okay, I hope that makes sense and hope it helps.